Good afternoon, super cool party people. It's a little late, but it looks like it's a beautiful sunny day out there, I assume, which is exciting because today is going to be the first time I've left the house in over a week. Um, that's terrible. So I got up, it was rough getting out of bed. We cooked breakfast and then we played a game on the Xbox that's like, if you ever played like bookworm where you have to like spell words with tiles, it's like that, but the tiles don't have to touch each other and you're fighting monsters as you go. It's pretty cool, it's enjoyable, you can play multiple people so that's nice. Um, but in about an hour here I need to be at the coffee shop to meet Jessica, so I need to like get dressed. Cause I'm very much not dressed. I'm gonna put on a little bit of mayhem, but you know, gotta gotta look good for her. <laughs> um, and yeah, so let the puttering commence. Alrighty, well I am now ready. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair here. It's like, high pony, Ariana Grande, I don't know. Um, obviously I gotta have my Ravenclaw hoodie on because I'm meeting up with a fellow Hogwartian. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I've got the gifts here. One for Jessica, one for her daughter. Um, but the funny thing about this is it says, it's not breakable, it's fine. Part of it's a little bit breakable, it's fine. Um, to safety man number two, love safety man number one. So that's like a joke that we have going back forever. So when we were, when we were in like grade seven or something, maybe a little bit later, you know what, Jessica was driving, so I don't know, grade 10, but we, no, before then. Anyways, at some point between grade seven and 10, I hate this part, Jessica and I would go rollerblading like several times a week and it got to the point when she had her car um, that we would just, keep our rollerblades in her car and be like, alright, it's a Wednesday, it's time to go rollerblading. Uh, in the lipstick now. When we were learning to rollerblade, we had like our rollerblades, knee pads, elbow pads, helmets, and I had wrist guards and she didn't have wrist guards. And we were like, we're the safety men. And I got safety men number one because I had an extra piece of safety gear. <laughs> so safety men number one, safety men number two. And then when we ever went down a hill, like it would be like the slightest incline, like flat and then like that and we'd be like assume safety man positions in which we like got like this and crouched down and just and it was the stupidest thing ever but it was so funny so hence safety man number one and safety man number two um it is currently 22 i need to leave in about 10 minutes uh so i'm just gonna pack my bag get ready to go and maybe we'll see you there did the uh oh i think the wrapping paper ripped when i dropped it okay i'm gonna fix that and maybe we'll see you there, and maybe we won't. <laughs> Two major life events happening right now. I've left the house for the first time in about seven or eight days. I'm wearing jeans, which hardly ever happens to. Just walking me up with Jessica. Got present one here, present two is in the bag. Hopefully it won't rip further. And lip gloss is attacking the hair, as it does. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I just got home from Coffee with Jessica. Well, it was her, her husband, and her two kids. And then we went to her mom's house for a while and hung out. And it was nice, because I haven't seen them for like, a long time now. I. I didn't see them this fall, so it had to be like last spring sometime. So it has been quite a while, but you know, all is well uh, with everyone. Yeah, it's all good. Um, I'm now home and I'm going to work on planning some stuff and working on my list that I didn't do yesterday. I'm doing laundry right now. Well, like the towels that our guests use. So step one, that's getting done. I have some tidying to do, like as you can see, it, that's not pretty, but I think it's more important to get some computer stuff done. So I'm gonna work on that for a while, have dinner probably in like an hour and a half, I would guess, and then continue trying to work, get a blog post done, work on my query letter, plan life, etc. Super exciting stuff, but I just wanna check in because I am 
back now having a little bit of like an allergic reaction because I was cuddling the dog so I can like feel it here you know what I'm gonna go get some allergy medicine right now before it like goes full-blown that'd be a smart idea but yeah just want to check in this is what I'm doing <laughs> my week out I really I like to plan on like Sunday night usually sometimes Saturday but usually Sunday for the following week I don't like to do a month at a time because I don't know what I'm gonna be up to like things like work I can definitely put in but I like to just go week by week I like to put in little things that I know I'll do like make my bed or blog and then bigger things just you know have a mix so it's all good so that is done now I'm gonna do a blog post I think now for today and um yeah not really sure what next probably food tidy up my room and then it's time for query letter yeah or book i'd rather do book so i should probably do query letter <laughs> all right so sticking with the theme of planning and all that jazz i am about to watch my 2018 goals right now yeah baby me old house and I'm basically just gonna go through it to see what my goals were I don't think I had major goals we'll find out and I'll check back in with you and let you know if I've achieved them or if I need to get real creative here in the next 36 hours all right so I just finished watching the video like it was so weird because I didn't have my current card title title screen entry screen what is it called my like montage thing there we go wow wow maybe i shouldn't be doing those things that require the english language today okay so i didn't have my current montage so it was just like the pre one that was loaded on the thing so like that was crazy also i think so i got my new computer hmm, in december December last year I think yeah beginning of December and I'm not sure if I had started using it to edit by the time the first came along so like the editing was a little bit choppy um, at some points and I like I seemed a little bit awkward but also like I went outside and I vlogged it was in the nature granted so like nobody was around but like I was outside vlogging I should do that more. <laughs> anyway, I wrote down all my 2018 goals that I talked about in my vlog. I'm sure there were more that I didn't talk about, um, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna go from here, I guess. So, number one, the first thing, was make my bed. And it's not made right now, but I didn't realize that this was a resolution that I'd made. I didn't, I couldn't remember, like, I was talking to someone about it the other day, I was like, yeah, I just finally decided, like, as an adult, I should make my bed more often. And the main driving force behind it at the old house was because a lot of the times when I'd be working, I didn't really have a desk. Like, the desk I had was this one there. So, like, as you can see, it can, like, barely fit a computer on it. So, to work at that desk, and it was, like, kind of crammed in, wasn't the most comfortable thing. Oftentimes, I'd end up, like, sitting sideways with my feet up on the bed with my laptop on my lap and all that jazz. So, not the greatest. So that's why I made my bed so often because if my bed is made, I am less likely to climb into it and fall asleep. I mean, sometimes I'll just grab a small blanket and fall asleep on top of it, but for the most part, if my bed is made, I'll be like, okay, let's work. So, like I said, I didn't realize that was a resolution and I think that's kind of crazy because I thought it was just a make bed so you don't fall asleep and so you get work done. Number two was something that I feel like I wavered on, on and off and it's kind of, still a goal for this year which is be more active slash be less lazy so especially as I'm writing more I spend way too much time at my desk so like I want to try to like even if I do like nightly stretching or nightly yoga or something or use my Wii Fit anything to just like every once in a while just get up and get active and get moving uh once we moved we're closer to the indoor pool now so like maybe I'll go there eventually so I just be less lazy, be more active, and also like be less lazy and be more productive because books, books. <laughs> Number three was wake up consistently early. 
So like, I mean, it's been rough these last couple days, not gonna lie, if I'm not wake, if, even if I am waking up early, I've been having naps. So like, when I work, I usually get up at about 7.20. So on my days off, I should be getting up at like 8.30, no later than nine, but like it's, it's been real bad lately. So that is definitely something I can try to continue. And the earlier I get up, the more productive I am. And something I've been trying to do over the last couple of days is once I edit my vlog and set it to export, I forget about everything. I don't worry about it. I'll just upload it in the morning. It's not a big deal. And then I take some time to journal, listen to some calming music. I don't know who I am right now. And that's just my downtime. So music, piece of paper, not a screen. Well, I mean, it's a notebook and just reflecting on my day. And that I'm hoping will help me one, get to sleep faster because I'm not like Instagram. Like even once I'm done journaling, I don't pick my phone up again, except to like set an alarm. Once I finish my vlog, goodbye screen time, that's the end of the day. So we'll see if that works and we'll see if I can keep that up and then just wake up in the morning and upload. So I'm hoping that if I do that, cause a lot of the times I'm waiting like an hour or so for the video to export. So if I don't have to wait that hour, then I can get sleep earlier, which means I can get up earlier. Uh, number four on the list is also on my list for this year, uh, but I will get into my goals tomorrow, I think, for 2019. It's vlogging in public. I don't know why I'm so, I like, I just, it's weird. I've, now that I have my GoPro, I feel like it's a little less awkward. Um, but it's still weird. So I'm hoping that like when I go down to, down to or oh, Florida, Orlando, when I go down to Orlando in a week or so here, I'm hoping that like, whatever, screw it, just do it. Um, and Pam will be there, so I'll make her be in it too. So hopefully it'll get better. Although in all fairness, in my 2018 vlog, where I was talking about my goals, I said, well, I'm going down to Florida. Nobody knows me there, so I'll just vlog in public. I didn't. I mean a little bit, but not so much. I don't know why I just get so up in my head about it. Also, like, when I'm going places, I'm going places. I don't have time to stop and vlog. Anyway, number five kind of goes along with that. It was vlog in public and also have more people in the vlog. I, I've had, like, Jessica and her husband in the vlog. I've had Pam in the vlog. I've had another friend and my mom. We're up to five. Exciting. Maybe we'll get more people. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Number six was better editing. So I feel like from that video to today, my editing has come leaps and bounds. Part of it is to do with my hardware because I have a better computer now. So it's just easier. <laughs> Before when I was editing, my computer was so crappy. I would have to watch the clips through, write down where I want to cut them, cut them, <laughs> and then piece them all together and hope that it worked. Now it's a lot better than that. It's something I'm still working on. I'm actually soon going to start dabbling in Adobe Premiere, I think. We'll see. I've been watching like lots of tutorials on how to do that, but at the end of the day, I really like vlogging. I like making videos. I think it's cool. I th I'm amazed that I have this skill. Like I can edit videos together. Like that's so cool. But at the end of the day, if someone was like, you need to drop either writing or vlogging, I would very sadly drop vlogging because at the end of the day writing has got me through so much and it just means so much to me so yes i'll try to put as much effort into this as i can but if this starts to impact the effort that i can be putting into that then this needs to be the trump card but we're still gonna try to get better and goal number seven last year was write more so this was 2018 yep yeah. So by this point, I had already written 80,000 words of my series. So like, that's not bad, but I thought that I needed a whole lot more. So January and February didn't do much. I think at the end of February, I started writing and I wrote like another 140,000 words between the end of February and June. I learned to write more. Then I went away for the Summer to Blind channel. I did no writing and almost no editing. But when I came back, probably what, October, November, I think was when I like buckled down with the editing, maybe end of October. So I did do that. I really think I achieved that right more goal. Not saying that goal is going away. <laughs> that goal is still very much here. Now that I'm done emanate and you know, we're working on the query letter later today. <laughs> I've still got the next book in the series that I need to work on. So we need to write more. That's like the biggest thing that I have 
heard, listened to. I've been watching a lot of videos about the querying process and the submission process, but it's like once you're done that book and you have sent your query letters off or if you're in submission, just write. Just keep writing because you got to have something to follow it up with. So that's good. I already have the large portion of book two written, but because I thought it was part of book one, I need to expand it, which will be nice because I really felt like I rushed some things, but we'll be writing more this year too. Number eight. Is that eight? That is eight. Number eight is read more. This is something that I read so much in the summer because I didn't have like the mental capacity or really the time to write or edit. So I read so much. I was reading like a book a day. It was ridiculous. So like that's good. I did get a lot of reading done. I would like to do more, more consistently, but I'm pretty happy with like the some ridiculous amount of books that I read in two months. And the last one of 2018, at least the last one that I talked about, I'm sure there were other ones, was put your goals somewhere in your room so you can see them on a daily basis so you can work towards them. Well, I don't think I did that last year, which is hilarious. Like maybe I wrote them down in a journal or something, but I did not write them down on my wall. So I have learned this year and I know I've pointed out before, but these are my 2000 and 19 goals. They're all covered right now. I don't know why I felt like it was needed, but I have like book, money, blog, travel, health, YouTube, photography, Twitch, still undetermined on that one, and manifesting. I definitely have a couple other things that don't really fit under any of those categories, so I'll probably have like a broad category in the middle under 2019, which right now just says reset, refresh, refocus because like those are things that I feel like I need to do. I just need to press the reset button and go into 2019 to guns blazing and get it done. 2019 is going to be my year and you'll find out when I talk about it more tomorrow. But even though it's super early right now, it's well comparatively, it's only like eight o'clock. I think we're right in the vlog here because one, I just talked for like 11 minutes and it was like almost 11 minutes straight and two, I just want to sit down and focus on my query letter, hopefully, or book two, maybe, and just try to be as productive as I can. Tomorrow is the last day of the year. What? Where did 2018 go? Honestly, like, I am still not sure where 2017 went. 2017 was a big transformative year for me. Um, 2018 was a very productive year, and now, you know, I've built that base up. I've made those changes, 2019 is going to kill it. Um, but with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and listening to the Space Ramble. And I will see you tomorrow we do very similar things. Good night. <laughs>